Across South Florida, a question a lot of you continue asking, who can get tested for coronavirus and where? One of the newest testing sites opens tomorrow in Weston. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live at the Cleveland Clinic with details on that and more of today's other developments. Carrie. That's right, Ruta Bay and Elliot. Testing will begin here outside Cleveland Clinic in Weston at 8 a.m. And patients will need to call first to make an appointment to determine if they meet testing criteria before they will get the okay to be tested. A drive through testing site is ready to open Thursday morning. It's outside the Krupa Center at Cleveland Clinic in Weston. It's not for just everyone, though. People must call to make an appointment and first show that they meet testing criteria for coronavirus. If they do, they'll be sent here. In a statement late Wednesday, the CEO and president of Cleveland Clinic, Florida, said, I'm confident this will make a significant impact in ensuring the health and safety of our South Florida resident. Also Wednesday, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez followed up on his Tuesday announcement closing restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and gyms by closing some retail stores, malls, casinos, and all parks and beaches in the county. They must close by close of business on Thursday. And it's time that we start to limit our interaction with each other, and the way we limit our interaction with each other is closing those businesses that are not essential and closing those retail centers that are not essential. Broward County Mayor Dale Holness and Florida's Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez held a news conference Wednesday at Broward County's Emergency Operations Center. A video screen nearby showed the latest up-to-the-minute data on coronavirus testing and confirmed cases in the state. Nunez said the elderly are most at risk. So please do not compromise the health of these vulnerable communities. The county says Port Everglades remains open to bring in gasoline to South Florida and other areas around the state. Buses are running and being cleaned regularly. County libraries will close Thursday evening. Also, the National Guard will be at C.B. Smith Park in Pembroke Pines to help run a mobile testing site there. The numbers of coronavirus cases in Florida continue to climb as more people get tested. Some have complained about long waits of hours on the phone to get through to the State Department of Health with questions or to report symptoms. There's a lot of confusion as it relates to are you truly a candidate? Um, if you are not symptomatic, if you don't have underlying health conditions, uh, you really should not be concerned at this point. The lieutenant governor advised people not to call the State Department of Health. Instead, she's urging them to call a state hotline at 1-866-779-6121 or to email questions to a state website, COVID-19 at flhealth.gov. Now, for the Westing, Weston site here, you'll need to call a phone number, 954-659-5951, to get screened by a nurse to determine if you should get tested. And also, Broward Health in Pompano Beach is opening a drive through testing site there. They hope to uh, test about 300 people per day. Again, you will need an appointment and a prescription uh, for that testing from a doctor. Live in Weston, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.